How's it going everyone and welcome to my dividend investing video. Today I'm going to be going over how much I made in June in dividend stocks and then I'm also going to be going over how much I'm making in the next 30 days on the dividends that I have set planned. And if you guys find this video informational or entertaining at all, make sure to drop a like and subscribe guys. Let's get right into this video. So now taking at the first stock that we got a dividend payment, which was actually on today. If you take a look, we got $3 from Home Depot. So that's $1.50 per share because I only own two shares of this stock. And if you take a look at Home Depot, we're actually quite up in general. We're actually up $176. That's up 50% return from when we first initially bought it. And when we first bought into Home Depot, it was March 19th. So this was like at the very low of the market. And if we take a look here at the one year, I'm sure that's near almost a 52 week low. So yeah, we got it at 160 and their low was at 152.15. So about $8 near their 52 week low and have been riding it ever since. Now the reason for me being at Home Depot really isn't for the dividend payment. Um, I, in my personal opinion, it's not a good dividend payment stock, but it is a good growth stock and it's a big company. So I am invested. The dividend is just a plus that comes with it. Now the next stock we're getting a dividend payment next from is going to be Kraft Foods. So if we take a look at Kraft Foods, we're actually up almost $180 in total in profit. It's up 10%. And now the price that we bought into the stock at was at $30. So if we take a look, um, I bought the stock way back. Now I bought the stock at $30 around this price point before everything fell off. And we f rode it to the bottom and rode it back up. And now this stock actually gave me a $22.40 dividend. And they actually paid me a dividend not that long ago either. I just got $20 back in March 27th. Now the reason that I'm getting more now is because you see I only had 50 shares then. Uh, now if we come and take a look, I actually own 56. Now me buying six more shares gave us two dollars and 40 more cents, so that was a plus. Now if we take a look at the ten three month, they're up ten dollars in the past three months, so this stock has been very bullish. And hopefully we can see the stock return to the eighty dollar or ninety dollar price point eventually, because if it does, we will be in great profit because we have eighteen hundred dollars invested right now. And now this stock only going up $3.20 already pushed us up almost a $200 profit. So if this goes up to a $90 stock, I can only imagine the profits from this. Now, if we come over here to NVIDIA, we're actually up $640 total in this position. We only have four shares. We got them at $210 and this stock is sitting at $370 right now. So we have a massive come up. That's 76% gain total in our lifetime of having it. Now, this is also another stock that I was saying like Home Depot, where it's a good stock and it offers a dividend, but the dividend isn't good for the price point that it's at. So if we take a look, we only got 64 cents for holding four shares of this. And that's only 16 cents per share. So this is not a good dividend stock, but this is a growth stock. So, but yeah, like I said, we always have to throw these stocks in here because it still does add to that total monthly dividend amount that we receive. Now, this is another stock that we're actually into some option calls on right now. We bought at this morning and then it rode up super high today. We're gonna get some good profits and then it slowly fell down with the rest of the market. Now, Bank of America is an all right dividend stock, but it's not the best dividend stock. We have 23 shares and we're only getting about $2.34. So we only get 18 cents a share. Now, if you bought this stock a very long time ago when it was only $13 or $12, or even Bank of America used to be very, very cheaper than that in the back in the day, then you have a good deal on this. But, you know, this, this is a little bit high uh, for a good buy into this dividend stock at this point. But nonetheless, it is still a dividend stock. So we did receive $2.34 to add to our portfolio uh, to buy other positions. But yeah, up $49 in total. And we got in at $23 and have been riding it uh, this wavy pattern this past couple of months. So yeah, good buy on that. Now, this is our final dividend stock that we received for the month of June. Now, in total of June, we made $28.38 off of a few dividends that we received. Now, that's almost $30, and that's pretty good because we don't have that many dividends that come out this month compared to the last video I made where we received $50 in dividends. Now, my plans for all this money with the dividends is I actually have Robinhood Drip. And now what Robinhood Drip does is it takes the money you earn from your dividend and automatically reinvests it into the stock, giving you a fractional share. Or if you have a big dividend payout and it's more than the share itself, it'll pay you that full share and more. So yeah, we're going to be using Robinhood Drip on all of these stocks that you just saw and reinvesting them back into the same ones. And now this final dividend stock that I want to show you that I didn't collect in June, but it's actually for the next month of July, but I'm already guaranteed it because it shows me ahead on my portfolio is Mo Altria. Now I've been telling people to buy this for the past couple weeks now, and we have the average cost of $40 and it's sitting at $41.47 at the moment. Now this is one of the top 25 dividend stocks you could buy. And if you take a look, we're getting $30.24 on July 10th, and that is $0.84 cents a share and we own 36 shares currently. And plus we've also made $52 on total return so far just by owning some shares of it so yes this is a very high dividend stock and if you take a look at the five year we could actually see it maybe going up back to $75 to $60 
So yeah, I just wanted to throw this in here because that is a high paying dividend stock right here. Um, this is one of the best ones I own in my portfolio and I couldn't leave it out because and that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the dividends that I got this month. If you made it this far, make sure to drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.